Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Smith Vocational High School here in Northampton, Massachusetts. Frank Tudrin Field as the Northampton Blue Devils take on the Belchertown Eagles on the opening day of Northampton Youth Football League season 2012. I'm Andrew Shalfo. How are you today, Rob Osberg? Fantastic, Andrew. It's September 1st. It's beautiful out. It's a great day for football. The Blue Devils are very excited to get this season going. And they will be, they will be receiving, I understand. Oh, no, I think they'll be kicking off. It's been a long month of practice for these Northampton Blue Devil Juniors. Whole month of August, sweating up there at Ryan Road Field. This is a day that's that they've been waiting for for a while. And these juniors are fifth and sixth graders, and many of them have been in this program for three or four years. We've had the privilege of watching a lot of these kids for the last three or four years, and they've got some talented players. I know they're excited to get the season going. I know head coach Mike Demon is excited. He's joined by Brian Pesesky right, and Gerard and, and, pick off and the Pat Diggins. And I know that you're excited, Rob, and I know that I'm excited, Rob, and we're all ready to go here. Blue Devils are going to be kicking off to the Eagles. And this broadcast is brought to you by Kesson Productions. Oh, he can't wait to kick. I think that's number 36, Gavin Gerard. He just didn't want to wait for the referees to get set. Referees are set. There's the whistle. Here we go. Up oh, now they're gonna back up and try it again. And up. Oh. Belcher Town coaches. I don't know how much time they spent practicing the kickoff, Rob. But here we go. There's the kick. It actually went about a yard. Now they're gonna wait for a Belcher Town player to come and get it. And. There you have it. <laughs> so never mind. <laughs> Belchertown will start on their own. I'm sorry, on the Blue Devil 41 yard line. That's not the Gutsy start. call. <laughs> I think that was an onside kick. Oh, well, I see uh, Coach Hank down there with his arms just kind of extended, saying, "What were you trying to do out there?" <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll look to get some clarity on just what that was. Uh, maybe you know, we can report the, back the on it. The Blue Devils are such a talented group that they wanted to start with a challenge on defense. <laughs> okay, Belchertown breaks the huddle. They they jog up the line, and we're ready to go here. Notice there in the lineup for the kickoff, Rob. Belchertown has some big boys there in their offensive line. Yeah, but so do we, and I see big number 50, Devontae Edmonds. Quarterback takes a snap, hands yeah. off to the up back, and he is met by a bunch of Blue Devils. Stopped by the Northam defensive line. Including Led by Devontae. He, he was a monster last year, and sure enough, he's in there on the first tackle, and he was assisted Ryan by was in there. And by number 61, Shane Callan yards here. Callahan. Callahan. So that was a gain of about two yards. Um, some differences if you watch the Pee Wee game uh, and you're here watching the junior game, you will see that there are no coaches on the field. We'll get to some other differences as we go along. Inside Quarterback Adam, takes the snap, fades back, and then it's a delayed, it's a draw. Three, I believe. Number of Ryan Long. by Northam defense once again. You know, Ryan Long is playing middle linebacker. He's been on both tackles. That's a tough kid. He's a he's a catcher in the Northampton Cal Ripken League. He's a team leader. That's a tough kid. I'm not surprised. He's uh, going to emerge as a leading tackler for this team. He's a good athlete. So that brings up third down and eight. Let's see what Belchertown has planned. They send two wide receivers to the left, one wide out to the right. Takes the snap, face back. He's looking to pass. He sees someone open. Oh, not open incomplete anymore. Pass. Incomplete pass. He was open for about a second, and then Northampton defense kind of surrounded him, and that pass fell incomplete. There yeah. is a flag on the play. We're going to wait for the call. The call was holding on Belchertown. Northampton's going to decline it, and that'll bring up fourth down. And about eight yards to go. I'm assuming here that Belchertown is going to go for it. Number eight, uh, Eugene Rentis, and that last play was in the best position to make the play. I'm not quite sure what the uh, uh, what what the quarterback saw in that. He had a he had his player there. He did have him for a split second, and then slipped away. They're going for it. Fourth and eight. Fourth and eight. Fourth and eight. One split out to the left. There's the handoff. He's got there's some room there. No, oh, no room it was there. hole, but it was open, and then there's it was Rentis. closed again. Rentis on the tackle. For Northampton. Oh, I didn't realize that was a Belcher. Number eight, eight, Eugene Rentis. That was uh, Eugene did a great job there with his closing speed to get in there and do it. Okay. 
So I think Gerardin's going to, uh, Gavin Gerardin, who kicked off, is going to be uh, quarterback. Yep, he'll be leading the Blue Devil offense. First and 10, they take over on their own 41 yard line. Call numbers. Yeah. It's a flag. Is that a substitution foul, foul on White? Foul. And Bucks down defense. I didn't quite catch that, Rob. What was that? Uh, that's the uh, the third official. The the substitution official? Yeah, called the substitution foul. He just uh, he did not do the Pee Wee game. The game was done by the other two fellas. They brought in a third official for this game. And he, and he wanted to let his presence be known. And so we, we, we know it. And call we'll take the, the five yards. First and five, Blue Devils. Hey, let's do a couple of player profiles while we're waiting. Let's start with number uh, 15, Jalen Rodriguez. We're looking forward to seeing him. He's going to be entering sixth grade at JFK. Yeah, first and five for him. Here. Wonderful kid and loves playing football. So that's Gavin Gerard and a quarterback here for the Blue Devils. Looks around, makes sure his linemen are set, calls the signals, takes a snap. There's the handoff, a little bit of room. <laughs> Close that hole That's pretty one, quickly. One, that was Ryan Long. Ryan Long. He's going to be close. Yeah, he did get the first down, so that was a gain of six. It's a gain of about nine. That's the type of play you want to see to open up the season with Rob. That's that's good play by oh, the offensive sure line, by the quarterback, by the running back. Everyone did their job. Nice crisp play, and what I really like about what Long did there is he finished the run. He had two yards after the after the hit, and those extra two yards were the two yards that. Got him the first down. Nice run by Ryan Long to open up the season. Yeah, that's not a particularly glamorous play, but that's a play where everything was clicking. There's uh, another whistle here. I think there's some, the Belchertown players are having a hard time substituting, getting guys in and out. And that's so a, they that's had to call, that's why they had to call that timeout. First down and 10 yards to go for the Blue Devils. Belchertown, as we were saying before, having a little trouble getting their players in and off quickly. And that's what led them to call that timeout. Jarden takes the snap. Another hand off the long. Found some room there on the left. Gain of about five or six yards. He's smothered by Belchertown defense. I'll tell you what, that offensive line for the Blue Devils has done a great Matthew job on two plays in a row. Number 77, Jared Smith. Number 78. Let me see if I can find who that is. Is that uh, 78 I see down there? That's not that's, that's 78. No, 78. That's Kozlikowski. Nice job on the offensive line so far for the Blue Devils. Like second and five here for him. Love those five-yard plays. As we said, they're, they're not so glamorous, but they're moving the ball. Jordan takes a snap. There's a handoff to Luke Melcher. Oh, nice run. Finds some room on the outside. And he gets down to the 35-yard line. That's a first down. Well, that's Melcher picking up where he left off from last year. He's a, he's a terrific runner. He showed... Showed his skill, he showed his agility. He's tough to tackle. He could be quite elusive out there. The Belchertown 35. So they've got some momentum going here. Sure some do. nice inside running plays. Yeah, Bounce sure Melcher to the outside. Here. And, uh, here they go. There's a new player, number 55, Troy Renner. We saw a lot of his uh, younger brothers, we assume, in the first game. And he's out there, did a real nice job opening up the, uh, the hole on the right side in that play. Nice block by number 55, Renner. Jarden takes the snap, hand off the long. There is a big hole on the left-hand side. He doesn't take it, though. He tries to bounce it out to the outside. Out Runs outside into Caven Powers game. briefly. But he does manage to get a gain of about, let's right call down, that, uh, McDonald, no yard gain. Tackle. So that'll bring up second, no, it's a gain of three. Andrew, second is seven. Got to tell you, the athleticism on the, uh, Blue Devil, uh, on the Blue Devil squad is really impressive. They seem to have good speed across the, across the board on this on this squad, I was particularly impressed that play with number 64 offensive lineman Henry Brink did a real okay, nice job. Six, yeah, the left side of that line, Kazakowski and Devontae Edmonds, they did a great job of opening a big hole. Sweet. Now here's oh, a nice pitch. Block. That's a pitch to number eight. Is that Rentis? And was there a Looks fumble? like the ball, there's a fumble. I don't see any signal yet. And they're calling a timeout. So that was Eugene. Was that Rentis, Rentis number eight? running it? I uh, thought there was a fumble there at the end of the play, but I didn't see any indication of it. So that'll bring up third and maybe one and a half. 
I'll tell you what, Coach Demon and his, uh, his coaching staff need to be really pleased with the performance of their offensive squad in this opening drive. They've been grinding up yards, they've been looking crisp, they've been exploding off the ball. Tremendous athleticism out there. Third down, about a yard to go for the Blue Devils. And I, I also drive. like the rhythm that they're, they're establishing here on offense. Oh, as as we said something. That's my fault. That one's on me, folks. No, uh, that was number 64. No, uh, Mr. Brink got a little anxious on that. He's been having so much fun blowing through that defensive line. He couldn't wait to get going. You repeat third down. So that'll bring up third down and six yards to go. But I tell you, I'd still like to see him keep doing what they're doing, Rob. They're having a good opening drive here. They sure are. And, uh, so what's the, what's the play here? They've had good success running off tackle. Are they going to do that or maybe fake that play and bounce one outside? What do you think? I think you stick with what, what brung you here. You know, go off tackle to the left. Jarden up under center. Takes the snap. There's a handoff to Ryan Long. Looking for some room. Shakes the first tackle. Gets close to the first down yard marker. I think he's going to be about a yard and a half short. So that'll bring up fourth down. Uh, I'm, they're going to be going for it because they're on the 28-yard line of Belchertown. No reason to punt here. So they're going to go for it on fourth. Long shows some tremendous lower body strength. He broke the tackle of that nose, that nose tackle the first throw. Just broke that tackle, kept driving his legs forward, and... He got his shoulders parallel to the goal line, kept his legs going, showed great balance on that, that play. Trips right play. Oh, and they've got the, if they can, boy, get a ball out there. Oh, it's a blitz. Belchertown foils the best great laid blitz. plans of the Blue Devils. Matthew Fournier stops Hamp on That stops down. a good opening drive. Belchertown will take over on their own 28 yard line. And how often do just five yard penalties First, make all the difference in the world? You know, they were, they were marching along, and unfortunately, that motion penalty thrust them back five yards, and that it's, was it. It's little things. I'm sure the coaches will, will point that out in practice this week. But you know what? Despite that, that was a great opening drive. The Blue Devil offensive line did a super job, and I'm sure they'll continue to do a good job as the, as the day goes on. Defense, who, did a, who also did a great job on their opening uh, drive, is Belcher out there. Offense takes the ball. They're certainly winning the field position battle at this point. So Belchertown takes over, first and 10. Fade back, looking for a pass. He puts it up, did not get caught, and he was popped there by number nine, Ryan Long. That's Ryan Long, we called his name a couple of times today. He's patrolling that middle linebacker spot. Uh, the quarterback didn't do his receiver any favors by putting that ball in a place where it wouldn't get caught and his receiver would only get popped. You know what, coaches are out there begging, begging right now and I, I hate that. They send the receiver across the middle right into the linebacker and then they're, and they're, then they're looking for a call. Hey coach, come on. Yeah, there was, there was nothing, was nothing good, dirty on that. That was, that was, that was good clean right. football. Focus on your team and not the officials coach. Quarterback takes the handoff. Takes the snap, hands it off, oh, tracked oh. down by Devonte Edmonds from Edmonds. behind. That was a great play, very he athletic play strong, there. He is fast, he Run is tough, eight, and he is mean. Devon. He came up from his left end spot, tracked him down all the way across the field, gave him a big old bear hug, brought him down. That brings up third and ten. Third and ten here. Great job by uh, by number fifty on that play. He's been uh, he's been a force on both sides of the line early. So Belchertown, uh, Brady Shaban is the quarterback, comes up under center. I don't know if they got a third and ten play. Let's see what they do. There's the handoff yeah. up the middle. Devonte, right into the, wel the welcoming arms of the number run. seventy. Smothered that was Luca Lion Sosa. Yeah, yeah Luca did a real nice job. Both interior linemen did a nice job. Luca Lion Sosa was all over. Uh, all over that play and gets a well-deserved break. And uh, that's Melcher in. I think this is a punting situation. We're very likely to see our first punt of the season. You think so? I don't know. They may, fourth, look, they're awful. They're in there an awful long time for that to be a punt. I think they're going for Let's it. Let's see. Off and six ball and a cruise You're right. Down. You are right. This is a courageous team. Two to the left, two to the right. Quarterback takes a snap, fades back, back, looking for a pass. And who beats him? Devontae <laughs> Edmonds. Edwards. Crushes him at the 20 yard Edmonds. line. Edmonds. That was Devontae Edmonds' show on that possession. Yeah, and, and I think no the quarterback needs a little bit of attention. I think he got Thank shaken you. up on the play. Some great field position here. 
We just finished the first quarter. We're about to start uh, quarter number two. Northampton is going to take over after. I'm trying to get the uh, the set here. But the Blue Bears are going to take over on the 22-yard line of the Belchertown Eagles after a tremendous defensive stance. Devonta Edmonds was a one-man wrecking crew on that series. He sure was. And we were talking there in the break, Rob. It was a, a kind of a curious call there by the Belchertown coaches to go for it on fourth and ten with a pass play. Yeah, and a pass play when your offensive line had been beat pretty, pretty significantly the three plays before. Now, last time the Blue Devils had the ball in offense, they established a good rhythm with the running game. Let's see if they go back to that here. Yeah, just, just keep it at simple, right? Running inside the tackles by, uh, with Long and then bouncing one outside with Melcher. First and 10 on the 21. Hand off to Melcher. Luke. Big old hole up the left-hand side. He gets a gain of nice solid gain of four yards. Four the play. That's what we're talking about, Rob. Down. Keep that, that was, going. That was, that was, that was down by Miguel Garcia. Number, uh, number 55, there. Troy Renner did a really nice job uh, opening that hole. That's a second monster block that we've been able to identify from number 55 in this game. He's a terrific player. I think we're going to be calling his name out a lot this year. What an athletic kid. Northampton breaks the huddle. Jarden checking with his backs to make sure everyone knows what's going on. Gets up under center. Uh, a little bit of motion there. I don't see a flag. There's a little pitch there. Nice. Oh, That's gone. a big he old hole. He is, he is gone. gonna make that corner. First touchdown Number of the year. Caven Powers. Powers. Get in for the score. Good play by Caven. He just saw the hole. Six nothing lead. Took the pitch and just danced right into the end zone. What a nice play, well conceived. Great job by the Blue Devil offensive line. Well conceived play, perfectly executed. Powers, powers ahead for the score. Blue Devils six, Eagles nothing. They're gonna line up and go for two. Here comes the extra point try. By Kevin Powers. They go for two as Rob said. And I would be shocked if it were anything but this pounding running game that we've seen so far. Now the two point conversion. Here's that trips right formation that we saw one play so far in the first quarter, and that one didn't end well. Jarden takes the snap, fumbles the snap, picks it up, runs with it. I don't know how close he got. We're waiting for the official. No, he's down. They're calling him down. No good. So that was a botched snap. So that means it's six nothing here. Blue Devils over Belchertown in the second quarter. Hey, well, we've got a little break in the action. This gives us an opportunity to thank those sponsors who make Northampton Blue Devil football a reality. Special thanks to Blue and Gold major sponsor, the Calvin Coolidge Nursing Home. Gold sponsors include attorney Mark Tanner, Andy Morrison family and his business, Liquors 44, Florence Savings Bank, Osberg and Associates, Pioneer Landscapes, the Northampton Police Relief Association, RK Miles, and World War II Club, the better Deuce. known as the Deuce. Blue sponsors include the Blue Bonnet Diner, Valley Home Improvement, Whalen Insurance, Weber and Grinnell, Newman's Construction, and Joe's Pizza. And we're also very appreciative of Ron Behrens and his family and Mike Benedizic and Benedizic's family. Mike is a longtime coach and supporter of Northampton Youth Football, and he continues to show his enthusiasm through a financial contribution. Much appreciated. Thanks to all the sponsors who help make Northampton Blue Devil football a reality. Here we go, Rob. We're set for the kickoff after the touchdown by the Blue Devils. There's the fake one way, and then a kick and deep. A boom! Nice kick. Great There's kick. a flag on the play. I think that's going to be offsides by the Blue Devils. Fumble. Nice hit by number 32 that forced the fumble, but I think it's going to come back because of the penalty, Rob. Well, and I also think Belchertown did collect the ball, and they that do was, have it. That was Gavin Bullock who play. forced the fumble, and I think I heard the referee say that you can't switch kickers on the kickoff. So they were calling offsides on the Blue Devils for that. So again, I'm confused. So they added five yards to the end of the run. Not they didn't impose five yards in a re-kick, even though the penalty occurred before the kick. The Belchertown offense is going to take the ball. I'm not, Notice I'm, I'm not, not saying anything because well, I, I have I, nothing I, to add. Yeah, and I'm not. A, I certainly don't know the rule book. It just. Uh, Seemed a little confusing to me, but let's give the officials who are schooled and who get trained for this the benefit of the doubt. First and 10 
Belchertown Eagles, they take over on the on their own 48-yard line. Let's see if the Blue Devils can continue the dominating that defense like the, uh, that we've seen so far. Yes, it is. There's the quarterback, takes the snap, looking for some room. Another Ed flag, Edmonds. Edmonds rolls in there and brings down the running back. I didn't see what the penalty was. It was a hold. There was a hold. And you know, maybe the first game of the season, but I think the Belchertown coaches' voices are in mid-season form. I can hear them all the way across the field. You know, unfortunately for the uh, Belchertown offensive line, they just they just don't have the athleticism of the Blue Devils defensive line. Um, you know, the Belchertown coaches can get angry at their kids, but the fact is is that there's just so much athleticism on this Blue Devil defensive line. They're, they're big, they're fast, they're strong, and they are mean, and they're showing all their, their, their muscle so far early in this game. And I think they're having a little bit of fun out there, too. Quarterback takes a snap. I think that's the starting quarterback back in there. Oh, that's Renner. Oh, Renner. The kid's an athlete. Nice move there. That is an excellent tackle. That Never is a loss on. of, let's say, three more yards there. Troy Renner. Tell you what, that kid's impressed me. He's a, and I think the Renner family is new to this program. His, young, his younger brother shines. The his younger table. brother shined in the uh, PBA today. We have t-shirts, shorts, blankets. Certainly did. Football. We're glad to have him here in the program. Please stop by to yeah. support NYFL football. So this Let's brings up a second and let's see. Help me with my math here, Rob. Is that about, about a 22 yard line. yards? I think you got that right. A second and long here for Belkis It's a second and very long. So Belchertown, they're in a passing formation again, and this did not go well for them last time they tried to pass. The quarterback takes a snap. There's that push by the offense, I mean by the defensive line. I think Belchertown got away with a hold there, and there was almost an interception. Uh, Eugene Rentis was close there. He gave it a game try to get that interception, but a couple of yards short. You know, the quarterback had a split second to get rid of the ball. It, uh, unfortunately, didn't seem to have a very good grip on the ball, and he threw one of those nose pointed down balls. You know, had he thrown the ball with nose up, I think Rentis was in a better position to make that catch than the Eagle player. So it was fortunate that he threw it that way or unfortunate? I, I think it worked out okay. It worked out okay. Eagles. Okay. Yeah. We'll take that. Third and, third, 22. And, third and 22. Quarterback takes a snap. It's a handoff in the backfield, and who meets him there? Number Big 70. old number 70, yeah. Luca Lyon Sosa. Another good, Lyon -Sosa. another good play. Another tackle. tackle for loss. That's uh, that's his second tackle for loss very here. Long now after the He's going to bring a fourth down and a bunch. Got to be about 30 yards. I'm not even going to guess at what Belchertown is going to do here because I've been fooled before. This looks like the punt formation. Yeah, and that's number three, Melcher, who's back to receive the punt. Okay, so the first punt of the year. Maybe. Belchertown, high snap. There goes the kick. That's Rentis. It's a short kick. Number eight, Boogie Rentis. Rentis receives it at the 38-yard line, and he's tackled, and that's where the Blue Devils will take over on offense. Okay, this will give us another opportunity to give a call out. Uh, number 26, Ben Landry, is also an experienced player in this league. He was just in there on that on that punt play. He's a sixth grader at the JFK Middle School, and he's also a student who enjoys reading, and he especially enjoys reading about sports his, sports and U.S. history. He's a baseball player, he's a basketball player, he's a three-sport uh, three guy. We love that he's participating, and he's an first experienced football Hampton player. 39. First and 10 for the Blue Devils. They're starting on the 39-yard line of Belchertown. Jarden under center, takes a snap. There's a handoff to Long. Long gains about Long four long. yards yeah, there. We've seen there. that before. Number it's not pretty, but we'll take it. Dorman on the tackle. That was a nice tackle by number 13. He gave up seven. a lot of size to Ryan Long, but he was fearless on that tackle. Wrapped him up and brought down the bigger, more athletic Ryan Long. Courage goes a long way in this game. That is a good point. Uh, Ryan Long is a, is a big player, and he plays big. Second down at about seven, let's say, for the Blue Devils. Jarden checks the wristband, make sure he's got the play right. Linemen align themselves, make sure they're in the proper position. Everybody's all set. Call the signals. There's the snap. There's a handoff to Melcher. A lot of room to the right. Melcher runs off the outside. 
makes well, oh that's a good tackle there by number one, one that was avion prack weighs in at a solid 55 pounds brought down melcher nice open field tackle there melcher tried the stiff arm on him but he got you, underneath it i'll tell you what i mean how fun is it to run when all you have is green i mean that, that offensive line is just dominating out there the 26 Again, number 55 renner over there is just sealing two sometimes three guys Certainly also uh, on the right side of that line. Got to give a call out to number 11, Noah Brink. He's also doing a great job out there in his end position. So that gives us a first down, first and 10. Jarden takes a snap. There's a pitch to Caven Powers again. We saw this play before. And Trying to get around the end. I think he's going to make it. And he's in for same a result. score. Second touchdown, of the night. second touchdown of the night. Makes the score 12 0 Northampton. That was the same play we saw the last touchdown, Rob. The same play, the same result. The game out there today. Power exciting. showed some great speed there to get around that edge. Well, again, I tell you what, it's these, these players just seem to be having fun. I don't know if he was touching that play. He made a great cut to the inside, and then it was all speed from there. Blue Devils will line up for the two-point conversion. The last time they lined up for a two-point conversion, there was a problem with the snap. Let's see if they can fix that this time. Punch this one in and maybe make it 14 to nothing. I'm guessing it's probably late in the second quarter, Rob. I'm not really sure. They have running time here, so we'll have to see. Of course, no time comes off the clock on a conversion attempt. Takes Same result. <laughs> We've seen that before. Thank you. No good. It is no good. No good. That makes the score 12 0 Blue Devils. It was deja vu all the over score again. It will be 12 0 Blue Devils. As Belcher Town gets ready to receive the Hey, I'm watching here. number 28 for the Blue Devils. Head out for the kickoff team. That's, that's our Reed Stone. He's a, he's a fifth grader at the Bridge Street School. He's a first year player in this junior program. And he enjoys swimming and playing lacrosse in addition to uh, football. When he's not playing football, uh, he especially uh, enjoys doing all sorts of activities, including his studies. I really appreciate that. He's an avid reader, loves to write stories, and he's a big fan of the New England Patriots. All right, there's a Blue Devils lineup for their third kickoff of the season. The first two have been kind of exciting. Yep. Let's see what they have in store for us this time. I also see number 32, Gavin Bullock, out there as a fifth grader at Leeds School, and he reports that math is his favorite subject. Unfortunately, he's a fan of the New York Giants, but uh, you know we'll, we'll forgive him for that. Well, once again, there was a little trouble on the kickoff, so the Blue Devils had to call a timeout, and Coach Demon's going to go out there and talk to them again and remind them of what's supposed to be going on here. We think the Blue Devils have gotten their kickoff you play straightened out. Ben Landry checks the left, checks the right. There's the whistle for the referee. We're ready to go. Jarden with the kick. Onside kick. There's a little squibber. Gets through the first two lines of, oh, there's the ball on the ground. I think Belter Town, I think they lost their focus there for a second. Landry, Ben Landry almost got it. That was Benny Landry. We just talked about him, and he hustled down. He and Eugene Rentis, uh, Rentis did a nice job covering that kickoff. I got to tell you, that's three kickoffs and three pretty adventurous plays so far, Rob. It's been my favorite play so far. I kind of like the Caven Powers touchdown runs myself. Those were good, too. Belter Town will take over on their own 35-yard line first and ten. So far the Blue Devil defense has been dominating the Belchertown offense. Yeah, this, this, this defensive line is, is terrific and I see that the uh, ham coaches recognize that and they have some some other players in there this, this, this series. Nice job by the coaching staff to rotate some players in. I'm seeing number 50, 53 in the game. That's Jacob Matikansky. Matikansky, great. There's a snap. There's a handoff up the middle. Matikansky makes Matikansky, the play. Matikansky, look right at that. We predicted it. Gets in there, wraps him up. Fended off some blockers. That's no gain on that run. That'll bring up second and 10. I'm also seeing uh, number 61, Shane Callahan, in the, in the, on, this, uh, on this series. Yep, and 32, Gavin Bullock checked in as did number 10, Ben Fowler. Ben Fowler played in the Peewees last year. He's made the jump up to the juniors. 
Yeah, experienced player, very heady player, player, very courageous. Second and ten, Belchertown takes the snap, handoff. He is met by one, two, three, still breaking some tackles. There was a swarming Blue Devil defense. He did a good job there. That was number, uh, I think it was Landry, number 26, who finally brought him, brought him down. Nice play by number 26, Landry. That running back did a good job, but he was not going to get away from all those defenders. No, just the, the speed of the Blue Devil defense um, compared to the Sloth. lack of speed on the, uh, on the Eagle offense is just evident so far in the first half. That'll bring up a third and six on the 30, 39 yard line. Quarterback takes the snap. There's a handoff. Fumble on the play. I think what happened there is the running back took his eye off the ball because big Devontae Edmonds was just about to cream him. And you know what happened? Oh Devontae God. Edmonds creamed him. Oh my goodness. He's That'll bring up fourth he's, down. He's having fun. Having some fun out there. He is having fun. That fumble forces the you know, touchdown offense there. Another he, fourth down. He, he finished his baseball career hitting bombs on the baseball field, and he's hitting bombs on the uh, football field, too. Now here's, here's another punt, punt by oh, Belchertown. That's, that's a good kick. Let it go. Boys gets that's over the head kick. of the return oh, man. Boy, Benny Fowler makes a ben big time Fowler play. Bailed him out by falling on that ball. It bounced around a little while. Looks like Hamp. Recover that. Uh, there's so, a learning experience for number 15 on that play. I'm sure. That was Jalen Rodriguez. He was back there to get the ball. And it's, funny things happen when that ball bounces, Rob. Yeah, and that's the end of the half of the Blue Devils. 12. That'll be halftime. That's going to be the half. Zero. Getting ready to start the second half here at Tugent Field at Smith Vocational High School in Northampton, Massachusetts. The Northampton Blue Devils are winning 12 0 as the Belchertown Eagles here in Junior Division Northampton Youth Football League action. And I see number six got oh, in the kick. game. That's Mike McGrath. And uh, I thought that Still might be an onside kick. By Luke Melcher. Be Melcher There's the kickoff. Picks up. Melcher picks it up, downs it. Blue Devils will take over at their own 36 yard line. Mike is a uh, fifth grader. We wanted to give him a call out. He's a, he's a homeschooler who lives in Florence. Where this is his first year at this, at this North level. North These North are North fifth North and North sixth North graders. North it's his first year playing football, and I think he was inspired by the New England Patriots, and we're glad he's part of the program. We're hoping he sticks with it. Real difficult to uh, break in and learn all the plays and learn everything there is to know about football, and we're happy he's with the program. The North End Blue Devil offense. Blue Devils will take over their 36-yard line. So far, we've seen in the first half, the Blue Devils were pretty much dominant on both sides of the ball, Rob. Yeah, terrific, just terrific play, particularly on the line. Jarden takes the handoff, hands Melcher. off to Melcher. Melcher uh, basically tripped over his own guy there, number 48, Caven Powers, who scored the team's two touchdowns in the first half. They use a little counterplay going left, and that's the play that, that uh, Powers was able to... Uh, break through the line with. But that's, that play still gained about three and a half yards. So that brings up second and seven for the Blue Devils. And I really like the rhythm that they have going here. They're not you taking know, a lot of time in the huddle. You know, this is a, they know what they're doing. These kids have been playing together, and a lot of these kids have been playing together for four years, and it really does show. It also shows that that hard work of August has paid off. And as we say that, there's a, there's a fumbled center exchange. Jarden wisely picks up the ball, rumbles forward seven yards, gets the first down. Yeah, that's proverbial lemonade at a lemon right there. That was a, powers his way across the first down. That snap was not executed properly. Jarden picked the ball up, used a quick first step, to first and ten at the accelerated through the line for a first down. And, of course, that's just another example of how dominating the offensive line is because he had enough time to do that and still gain a first down. So that's first and 10. They're just shy of midfield here. I think we might have a timeout. A little timeout because there's a bit of confusion about what the play is going to be. And in the background, I think you can hear the seniors, the Northampton Blue Devil seniors getting ready because they're playing the next game. Those are adolescent grunts. Well, These are uh, fifth and sixth graders. Those guys are in seventh and eighth grade. And enough said. Well, they're, they're the last to take the field on opening day. That means they've been officially waiting the longest because preseason lasted the whole month of August. Here's that trips formation, this time to the left. I'm not going to say what happened the first two times we saw it. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy. Jordan takes the snap. There's a handoff to Long up the middle for a gain of five yards. Tackle by number 80, Eric McDonald. 
a short game. And Rob, we said it in the first half a couple times. I'm sure we'll say it more in the second half. If you're doing that every play, five yards up the middle, you're not going to lose. I uh, focused on number 77, Jared Smith, that time after a poorly executed play the last one. Jared did a phenomenal job that, uh, that time, a perfect snap, but he burst through and knocked the uh, nose guard back about three yards, really opened up that hole for Ryan Long. Nice job on the part of Jared Smith on that play. Jared Smith is the center. This is his first year playing center, I believe. He's doing a great job out there. Jarden takes the snap. There's job. a handoff to Melcher. Oh, he's gone. Cuts it to the outside. He he's got some speed. room. He beats the last the tackler. Corner. He's at the 20. He's he at the 10. He, he the is first. in for the touchdown. That was a 40, 52 yard run by Melcher for the third touchdown of the day for the Blue Devils. Takes the lead, 18 to nothing. You know. Playing defense and tackling is all about angles, and we have a great vantage point up here in the uh, the top of the booth. And we, I could just tell by the angle that those defenders were taking that they had no idea how fast Melcher was. They completely underestimated speed, took took really poor angles on that tackle. Melcher sensed it, put on a burst. Touchdown, Blue Devils, 18-zip, dominating performance. And he was able to set that up from the very beginning because instead of taking that run to the inside, he took it to the outside because he saw there was more room, and he proved to be right. Now the Blue Devils will line up for the two-point conversion try. They were unsuccessful on their first two. Let's see how they do on this one. Jarden under center, takes the snap, looking like it was going to be a quarterback keeper. Ball on the ground. Two-point conversion. You know, for as great as they've looked on the other plays, the conversions have not looked so Three smooth. Three strikes, you are out. That was the third unsuccessful two-point conversion. I have a feeling they're going to be working on kickoffs and two-point conversions during the course of the week coming up. At this time, I'm going to be announcing the winner. So that makes it 18 to nothing here in the third quarter. The prize is $104. And the, good, the good news is that Listen Northampton closely. Blue Devils get to go back on defense when Numbers they seem to be four, having a great time. One, oh, I thought you were going to say the good news is they get they seven, try to kick off again. Six, eight. We have a winner. I'll read it again. The numbers are four. For those of you at home who can't play the 50-50, if you come down to the game, six, not only can you participate eight, in the 50-50 raffle, but you can sample some of the fine fare at the food booth. All food lovingly prepared by the Northampton football, Youth Football League volunteers. Please come to the merchandise table to the right of the food booth. And here we are lined up, ready to try the kick. Let's see what they got in store for us this time. Here goes Jarden, fakes the kick, Landry kicks it deep. There's a little squibber getting to the last receiver who touches it. It's a live ball. Four, one, he manages eight, to seven, pick six, it up. Eight. He gains some yardage. Rentis. Rentis stops Rentis. any more gain at about the 38-yard line. You know, that runner did a good job with that with that reception, I mean, with that kick. He did. Eugene had enough, though. He'd had, you're, that's absolutely right. He's had enough of him making the other guys miss. He was not going to miss himself. Eagles, go ahead, Rob. No, I want to I give a call out to another one of our fifth graders. That's uh, Nico Mestrangelo. Uh, Nico's new to, new to our program as well, as, as far as I can tell. He's a, he is a fifth grader. He's over at the Bridge Street, Street School. Science is his favorite subject. And he Science. Is, and he also enjoys reading. He's happy to be playing football. He was a, he was a soccer player, was a goal scorer at a hat trick last year. Um, and he also is a big time NBA basketball fan rooting for our rooting for our Celtics. Welcome aboard, Nico. Time out on the field. So there's a timeout on the field. After the timeout, the Belchertown Eagles come out to take over on their own 36-yard line. You know where we are in the game, yeah, Andrew? We are in the third the quarter. Yard line. We think. More than that, I can't tell you. We think. We're definitely in the third quarter. Belchertown takes a snap. It's a pass play. It's caught. By number 13. And he you know, is immediately met. By Ryan Long and Devontae Edmonds. That was uh, Belchertown's most successful offensive play. That was very well crafted. The little quick hitter there gained about six yards for him. Unlike their other play where they sent their uh, flanker across the middle, that one was a much crisper play. Nice, well-run play by the Eagles on, on that series. Well, we've seen three pass plays by Belchertown. One where they sacrificed their receiver across the middle. One where they almost had their quarterback killed by Devontae Edmonds. And that one. So... 
they're moving in the right direction, I guess. Belcher Towns, second and about four. Quarterback oh takes a God. snap. He manages to hand off the ball. I'm not really quite sure how. And the running back does a good job of holding on and keeping his feet moving. He sure did. Finally brought down by uh, Gavin Bullock, number 32. That was a good little run, nifty little run. Yes, it was. 35, John the Dickens down is on that play as well. John is uh, playing middle linebacker now, taking over for Ryan Long, and John uh, slowed him out, slowed him down in that play. Nice play by Diggins on, the, on, on that carry. That brings up a first down. I believe that's the first first down that Belcher Town has gotten in this game. Well, to the credit of the Blue Devil coaching staff, they pretty much have most of their starters off the field. Now there's a couple of them. There's, the there's a little botched center quarterback exchange. Belcher Town quarterback couldn't do anything but fall on it. Yeah. You're right, Rob. The coaches are doing a good job of rotating players in and out. It's been a warm day here today. I'm sure the players are a little hot in their dark Everybody blue uniforms. Uh, yeah, that is number uh, 15, Jalen Rodriguez, who just reported in. He is a sixth grader. Uh, Jalen is uh, playing safety. So the yard marker across the field says first and ten, but I believe it's second and ten at that snap exchange. Whoa. Fumble. Renner. Great play there by Renner. Renner. Another yeah. fumble on the play. He, he beat his man, got into the backfield, before, almost before the quarterback had the ball. Hey, Lucas, uh, Lucas Phelps, number 44, He's reports in uh, to safety. Lucas is a, is a fifth grader. First year as a junior player. He's back there manning that safety position. And Ben Landry, number 26, replaces Reed Stone at right cornerback. And uh, number 55, Renner, deserves, uh, deserves a break and got one. So Belchertown lines up for a third and 13 play on their own 42-yard line. Quarterback hands off. And that's Rentis. And that's a good play by Show Rentis. Two, Jack Kent. Looks yeah, we, like uh, the Blue Devils have some solid linebacking there between Rentis nice and Long. 11. Yeah, that was number 57, Isaiah Rodriguez on that play, uh, also contributing on that play, and as a result, he's coming out for a break. Number 57, Rodriguez. And the lights are on here at Tudrin Field as a beautiful sky marks the end of the first day of September. I did see number 61, Shane Callanan, report back into the game as well, along with number 79, Kozlikowski. It's fourth and 11 for Belchertown. They're going to go for it. They're down three touchdowns in the second half, so they don't really have Why a choice. Not? Quarterback fades back to pass, throws oh. it up. Oh, Two almost. Northampton defenders. Down that was Gavin Jardin, and it was also oh, number 24, Miles Hellowell. They were both there. They both had an opportunity to catch it, but they wisely knocked it down because, as we know, on a fourth down pass play, they're going to get the ball at the line of scrimmage yeah, now. That was a good play, but Helliwell had that lined up. It was Gerard who knocked it away, not only from the defensive player, but from Helliwell, who was going to pick that off and run. You could just tell. He planning to run. He had that look in his eyes. Oh, we could see it from six. up here. That was a pick six that Helliwell was lined up for. So Northampton that will... The fourth, that, that's the end of the third quarter. End of the third quarter. Yeah, They're going to the switch third, ends. Fourth, right? Excuse me, never mind, I'm wrong. So that'll be the beginning of the fourth quarter now. Northampton will take over on their own 45-yard line. So first and 10. First and 10 for Northampton. And there's 10, that's, is that Jordan uh, under center? No, yes, right. Jordan under center. Looks like it's that Melcher deep in the eye. Jarden takes a snap. Another fumble oh, to exchange. Jarden tries to pick it up and run with it. Loses a yard there. Almost made it back to the line of scrimmage, but not quite. Second and about 11. Second and 11. But I think what we want to see here is some more ball control, some more nice runs, nothing spectacular. Just enough to keep the clock moving. Second and 10 here for the Blue Devils. Jarden has the call from the coaches, jogs into the huddle, informs his teammate of their responsibilities. She didn't get it. Northampton offense takes the ball on second and 11. Linemen check their stances, their alignment. Jarden under center. 
says watch out for the blitz. There's motion. Play is dead. Hard count. Well, I think what happened there is they were worried about the linebacker who was going to be blitzing, and the right guard jumped. No, they're going to call offsides on Belchertown. Got him in the hard count. Pardon my eyes up here. I saw the same thing that you did. I think we got a break there. Offsides penalty on Belchertown. is going to need to stick forward a little bit for him. So that'll bring up a second and six. So it's a little bit of a break for Northampton there. Northampton breaks the huddle. Jardin brings him up to the line. The familiar eye formation that we've seen as Melcher split out to the left. Another fumbled exchange. Ball's on the ground. It looks like Northampton fell on it. That yes, they did. That play. blitzing linebacker is causing here. the Blue Devils all sorts of nerves or something. It's, uh, He's, he's lined up right over the center. Third and five now. That's been the third, the third unsuccessful snap we've seen in this series. Ironically, that was their their biggest gain of the series too. Timeout on the field. Timeout on the field. Blue Devils are calling a timeout to get themselves in a better spot. Third down for the Blue Devils after the timeout to get themselves straightened out. The linebacker, the blitzing linebacker for Belchertown, as you pointed out, Rob, causing a little bit of problem for the offensive line of the Blue Devils. Jarden under center, another fumble, fumble exchange. Again. So that timeout didn't really work. He's recovered by hand. That'll play. bring up a fourth and six. So I don't quite know what to make of those those formal exchanges. And the uh, Northampton coaching staff is questioning the appropriateness of where that center, uh, where that linebacker is lining up. He's lining up right over the center, and I know there's some rules about this, and there's some question about whether or not that's the legal formation or not. Fourth down. Well, regardless of that, it's fourth and about six yards to go. There's a trips left formation. There's the handoff. Jarden gets clean snap. Until he was so met by number 34 of Belchertown, sacked for about an eight-yard loss. So that'll be a turnover on downs. Belchertown will take over on about the 50-yard line. Jarden had a little bit of time, but he took a little too much time, allowed Belchertown to get him, drop him for the sack. Well, I'll tell you, at this point in the game, those Hamp offensive linemen uh, probably a little bit fatigued. A lot of those guys have played on both sides of the ball. The good news is Hamp did find some things that they need to work on during the during, during the practice week. All in all, it's been a dominating performance for the Blue Devils. They've looked great on both sides of the ball. They lead 18 to nothing. Well, let's just hope the Blue Devils aren't resting on their laurels too soon here they no, uh, they got some more time here yeah, to play we're, we're, we're late in the fourth quarter i think uh, i think we're in good shape here so belchertown takes over midfield takes a snap he manages oh, nice to elude run. edmonds and some other players finally field. brought down by cave and powers in his safety there. spot that sure was what an athletic play by number 34. that fournier has really showed some some determination on both sides of the ball. He doesn't know what the score is. He got past Devonte Edmonds. I think he's the first one to do that today. He is. And luckily, Caven Powers was there to make the touchdown saving tackle. Yeah, that's number 57, Isaiah Rodriguez, reporting into the game for number 53. That's uh, Matt Akansky coming out of the ball game. He's hustling off the field, though doesn't want to get a substitution penalty. What a nice play on that last, uh, on that last offensive play by the Eagles, number 34, Fournier. I have a feeling Devontae didn't like missing that, so he's going to try to make up for it. Oh, and, he, and there and he, he goes. And he did. Drops him for loss, but they're going to get him for a horse collar tackle on that one. Call the horse collar tackle on Edmonds. Uh, I think that is the right call, even though Edmonds didn't mean to do anything uh, illegal there. That's just kind of where his hands ended up. But as always, the premium here is on safety. We want to make sure that everyone is tackling properly That's so no one gets hurt. It's also a big penalty. That'll bring Belchertown down to the 18-yard line of the Blue Devils. It's their deepest penetration of the game. 
First and 10 Eagles. They are on the Northampton 18 yard line. No, Blue Devils had their back up against the wall a little bit. Let's see how they respond. Belchertown send one, sends one receiver off far to the right. I don't know if Jarden realizes he's out there. 18 yard line. Quarterback takes a the snap. There's a handoff. Who met him there? That, that was, was Renner. 55. And that's that Luca. was Troy Renner. Yeah, number 70 and it was uh, Luca Lyon. Soso was also in on that play. And that's uh, now it'll be second number 10 Fowler reporting in. Number 35 Diggins down. reporting in. Quick reminder to visit the food booth here. Some great refreshments and food. So that was, that was what we needed there um, after the penalty that, that advanced the ball deep into Northampton territory. That was a good defensive play. Sure was, two yard loss, second and 12. So second and 12, Belchertown in the same formation, they're sending that lone receiver to the right and now they send one out to the left. I don't think they would try to pass it here. Handoff and there's big Devontae Edmonds who that time makes sure he didn't get the horse collar. And also in the tackle was Caven Powers who's having a good game offensively and now showing his defensive side. Yeah, definitely an impressive performance by a number of these Blue Devils today. After that long month of preseason, I think there's gonna be some happy kids after this game. So we have to be late in the fourth quarter. Referees look at their watch. This is about the time of the game where Rob and I wonder how much time is left. And there's a timeout by Belchertown. Not on the field. After the timeout, Belchertown gets themselves lined up. Third time is running out here in the fourth quarter. And if they have any chance to win this game, they're gonna have to score pretty quickly here. Quarterback takes a snap, looks to pass. He's rolling to his left, throws nice the ball throw. up. It was a nice throw, and that's a complete that's a pass. pass. Good play, that's a gain of about six yards. Brings it back to the old line of scrimmage. Gregor Shevitz is selling gold cards to fundraise for Northampton High School football. So that brings it back to where they started this drive. All these stores and restaurants throughout Hampton. And they're still great buy. three scores down on the scoreboard. And 11 yards Here's to go North for North a first North down North to North keep North. this drive alive. It's fourth down and 11. Looks like there's a little bit of confusion as some of the players go up to the line of scrimmage and everyone else stays in the huddle. Then they all go back. One more thing. Here we go. I think we got it going. That was a nice little pass play, though. It was. That was a nice throw. It's going to be a fourth and 11 for the Belchertown offense. Okay, Belchertown up to the line. Quarterback takes a snap. He's looking to pass. Oh, oh Renner. He is brought down by Renner, number 55, he, who's focused out, the whole he, time was he on the wiped quarterback. Out the left guard, threw him down, and Renner, sprinted. He was the fastest the guy in the field in that play. There was just, there was just no stopping him. Quarterback had play. no chance on that one. You know, Powers had the two touchdowns on the defensive end. I mean, on the offensive end. But this Edmonds Renner defensive combination is just amazing. Those guys are big, they're strong, they're fast, and they are determined. What a what a formative pair those two are. That is certainly true. The defensive line has really been awesome tonight for the Blue Devils. Wow. So now the Blue Devils take over on offense. That's a tight formation. This is a this is a keep it simple. Keep it simple. Powerful Close those off. gaps so that the linebacker can't get through. And the referees are going to do a little counting because it looks like and the, the Belchertown Eagles had too many men on the field. What's interesting is one of them, okay, there it goes. I was going to say nobody ran off the field, but, but there goes one guy running off the field. That's not what you want to see late in the ball game. Another botched exchange. Jarden had a little bit of room, ends up with a gain of about three yards there. It's about a three yard gain in the play. They tackle by number two, Jack Kent for back to town. That is a negative that I'm sure they'll be working on in practice next week, Rob, is the center exchange with uh, a linebacker showing blitz. And I think camp is going to try a different uh, offensive formation. I heard the coaches say, let's 
that, that, that's been effective against us. Let's try something different. And I think Devontae Edmonds is going to take over duties at uh, the center position. Let's see. Let's see how that works out. So Devontae Edmonds at center, making sure everybody knows what they're doing. Jarden calls the signals. And oh, that one worked. Ryan Long takes the snap, takes the handoff, rumbles forward for about four yeah, yards, the gets the first down. Ryan Long is going to power his way for another first down. So that little line change certainly improved the odds on that play. Well, Devontae's uh, just got incredible athleticism, and unfortunately, uh, with that uh, stacked defensive line, his athleticism is pretty important in order to keep that going, and that's the ball that's game. That's the ball game. The Northampton Blue Devils juniors with an impressive seasoning opening win, 18 to nothing over the Belchertown Eagles here at Tudrin Field, Smith Vocational High School.